another fantastic review coming to you from Detroit Knife Reviewer. As you can probably tell by now that this one is not exactly a knife. In fact, it is a sword, a katana to be specific. And even more specific, this is a replica of the katana used by Tom Cruise in the movie The Last Samurai. It's a pretty good movie. I would suggest it to anybody who likes samurai movies with relatively bad endings, because that's what I thought of that. But this is a knife review, not a movie review, so I shall carry on. This is kind of a big hoss. It's the last sword I have left. Traded all my other ones for various things. It's pretty cool. I'd say it's more for show. I would not try uh, bashing this one around. But it's pretty much gigantic. It's a fun one to swing around the backyard if you're feeling like being a ninja. Or a samurai, I suppose. Being that this is a samurai sword. Don't really have any exact measurements on this one. I'm just going to tell you it's big. And off the top of my head, possibly 42 inches in length. Well, that's an estimation or something that I've heard in the past. Just pretty cool replica. Actually, I got this for a Christmas present one year, so I did not pay any money, so I can't even tell you what it costs. Pretty detailed, but you can tell it's a replica, not a legit sword. I'll give you some detailed shots here in one second. The Chinese inscription on the blade of the sword when translated into English means, if you watch the movie you already probably know this, but I belong to the warrior in who the old ways have joined the new. That's one translation which is pretty much what they say in the movie. But I'm seeing online as well that people are saying that that's not exactly what it actually means. But I'm not really a stickler and I'll just take their word for it. I have no idea what uh, the engraving on the sheath is. Uh, classic wood sheath. It's got a little wax inlay around the edge so you don't bash anything up. Taking the sword in and out. Goes into the sheath with a pretty satisfying click and stays in there relatively well. You can see, makes that kind of good noise. It just slides down and then clinks in there. It'll come out if you hold it upside down, but it's kind of supposed to just, you can tell it's home once you put it there. Kind of a fun thing if you're into The Last Samurai or just Samurais in general, uh, you should probably buy this. Pretty cool uh, sword. It's the only one I have left so obviously it's probably my favorite one I've ever had even though it's not one that I can swing around and hit against other things but uh, still pretty cool. Pretty cool thing, showpiece, things to tell people about. It's got a story behind it. Uh, thanks for coming and watching our videos here at Detroit Knife Viewer. Have a nice day.